Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Once you have created a report, it will appear in the navigation pane. Here you can select it and then press Ctrl plus the Enter keys on your keyboard to open the report in Design View. In Design View, you can edit the report to change the field placement, add or remove fields, or format the report objects. In Design View, you can change many of the same aspects of reports that you changed in your forms when using Form Design View. You can also create a report from scratch in Design View in the same way that you created forms. To do this, click the Report Design button that appears in the Reports button group on the Create tab in the ribbon. That will create a new blank report and display it in Report Design View. One of the first things that you will notice about Report Design View that is different from Form Design View is the number of sections within the report. By default, the Report Design View shows a Page Header section, a Detail section, as well as a Page Footer section. It is important to note that in a report, the particular section that you place the fields into can impact what data displays in the field. Just as with Form Design View, you can start by clicking and dragging fields from the field list at the right side of the Design View, and then dropping them into the desired section of the Report Design window. To select a query to use as the report's data source, since queries are not shown by default in the field list, you must set the data source property of the report. To show the property sheet, click the Property Sheet button in the Tools button group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. Use the drop-down at the top of the Property Sheet pane that appears at the right side of the Application window to select Report if needed. Then click the Data tab below the drop-down. Click into the Record Source Property field on the Data tab and then use the drop-down that appears at the right end of the field to select the name of the query to use as the data source for the report. After selecting the data source, click the Add Existing Fields button in the Tools button group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon to show the available fields in the selected query in the Field List pane. You can then drag and drop the fields from the field list into the desired section of the report. Fields that are placed into the Detail section display their field information once for every record in the associated data source. Fields placed into the Page Header or Page Footer areas repeat once per page. These sections are suitable for report labels and date or time stamps, but not data fields or calculated fields. You can add two more useful sections to the report, the Report Header and Report Footer. To enable the display of the Report Header and Report Footer, right-click on the header of any displayed section in the Report Design view, and then select the Report Header or Footer button from the pop-up menu that appears. Fields placed into either the Report Header or the Report Footer sections display their field data once at the very top of the report and once at the very bottom of the report. Oftentimes, you will find report titles placed into the Report Header section. The Report Footer section is often where you will place fields that calculate the grand total of data fields placed into the Detail section. You can also add many other header and footer combinations for the various groupings you create in your report, which will be examined in a later lesson. You also have many of the same controls used in Form Design available for use in Report Design view as well. They are shown in the Controls button group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. You can use the buttons within this group to add labels, images, or custom calculated fields. Once you have designed the report, you can preview the report results in Print Preview to see how the report would look if you actually printed it. To see the print preview of the report, click the View drop-down button in the Views button group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon and choose the Print Preview command. When you are viewing a report in Print Preview, you can view multiple or single pages of the report and also print the report by using the buttons that are shown on the Print Preview tab within the ribbon. To close the preview and return to Report Design View once you are finished previewing your report, click the Close Print Preview button in the Close Preview button group on the Print Preview tab in the ribbon. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.